The stakes are high in New Hampshire's U.S. Senate Republican primary this year. With a national push for the GOP to take back control of the Senate, the Granite State will likely see serious money and effort to flip this seat. Among the Republicans hoping to face Senator Maggie Hassan this November are a mix of familiar names and political newcomers. Retired Army General Don Boldick ran unsuccessfully in the Republican U.S. Senate primary in 2020. Then and now, he describes himself as anti-establishment and focused on the conservative grassroots. I want to assure any undecideds that Don Baldick is an outsider. He's not um, beholden to anybody, uh, and I've made sure of that. Bruce Fenton served in the Navy before becoming a financial advisor and making a timely investment in Bitcoin. A member of the Free State Movement, he would like to see dramatic reductions in the size of federal government. Everybody had to make cuts in the last two years, except government. I think it's time for them to make the cuts. They can, they, they can shave off a few percent of their budget so that basically the entire middle class could go tax-free for a few years. Businessman Vikram Mansharamani says the key to government spending is to do it wisely. The economist and author is new to Granite State politics, but says that gives him important perspective. A lot of conservative leaders think government spending is always bad. I don't think that's always the case. It can be good. We should seek investments that generate returns, not handouts. Chuck Morse is on the other end of the spectrum of political experience. The president of New Hampshire's state Senate, he was first elected to the state legislature in 1998. He owns a garden center in Atkinson and is known in Concord for cutting business taxes. I think it's pretty obvious why I'm running for our U.S. Senate. The Washington's a train wreck, and I honestly believe it's in need of New Hampshire common sense. Former Londonderry town manager Kevin Smith is also running on his record, pointing to economic development and budget surpluses during his time in that office. He also worked in state politics and ran for governor 10 years ago. He says that experience will make him an effective fighter for conservative values in Washington. We need to save America from the socialist policies that Hassan, Biden, and the Democrats uh, have been putting out there on everyone. You know, people are mad as hell. Tonight, the Republican candidates for U.S. Senate.